I built this AI voice agent with 11 lamp and NNN. This is an AI voice agent to lead generation. I want to explain deeper step by step, detail by detail, the configuration on 11 lamp and NNN. No, I know. But first, you have to understand the context behind of this. This is an AI voice agent to lead generation, but friendly lead generation, no normal one. Because the AI voice agent is in charge to talk with the user on my website about my program and make sure if my program program is a good fit for them and make sure if the goal of the user could be covered by, by my program. But in the middle of the conversation, the AI voice agent will, will be sent the information to the NNM. NNM will store this in memory and in one point of the conversation, is everything going well, the AI voice agent asks the user if you want to schedule a meeting with me to clarify much better details or if you want a PDS or presentation. The agent also asks to the user about the email and with the, with, with the email is already provided, the NNN instant or agent can send an email, a tailored email, because we have the conversation information and we can send the PDF and tailored message about it. The same if the user has to schedule a meeting because we can send a customized or personalized message with it calendar link. We are going to see under the hood, but first we are going to see a quickly demo about it. Let's do a quickly demo. As I told you, the AI voice agent is already integrated on my website and let's test it. Hey, I'm Archers, Simeon's AI assistant. He runs a one-one mentorship where you learn to build your own AI agent in four weeks. Mind if I ask a few quick questions to see if it's the right fit for you? Yeah, sure. Um, I would like to join to the program, but I'm not sure it's a good fit for me because I have a flower store in the middle of New York and I would like to create a couple of AI voice agents or AI agents to cover my lead generation. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Creating AI agents for lead generation could really help your flower store stand out in New York. Our mentorship program is designed to help people like you build functional AI agents, even if you're not experienced in tech. What specific goals do you have for these AI agents in terms of lead generation? Uh, I don't know. I... I'm not sure about it, but a uh, quick question. Do you have any presentation or some document that I can read? I can arrange for some information to be sent to you by email. Could you provide me with your email address so I can make sure you receive it? Yeah, sure. My email address is simealdana at gmail.com. Can you hear me, mate? Yes, I can hear you. Thanks for your patience. I'll arrange for the information to be sent to simealdana at gmail.com. Is there anything else you'd like to know or discuss about the mentorship program? No, please. Pretty good, mate. Thank you so much. Let's see the final result. Uh, well, very nice. It's uh, all well, these flowers in New York. As as I say to the A voice agent, information about it, information about the program, and send me a PDF. The result has been as expected because it has been a good lead generation. And based on the conversation, the agent will be able to send me information I tailor it message. Now, let's see under the hood, step by step, how the agent works. Let's see under the hood all nodes. Basically, the entry point of this AI voice in the entry point and the output is a wet hook because it's the connection, a wet hook is needed for the connection. And as a default, the wet hook nodes has get as an initial method, I changed to post because the 11 lab will send us information about the conversation. And another stuff that I changed here is the response is not immediately. The response is using the wet hood node no and this means that it will wait until all the flow finish to respond. After that we apply directly the agent node and here the margin is on the prompt basically. Uh, because I always like add a row as you can see here. I like provide a context as well. In this case provide the name provide this this is a AI way assistant a real-time conversation and add some instructions and there is important something important key here is the supporting action because basically how this AI agent works is basically the AI voice agent from the level up send actions like a on day memory when the conversation is 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 happening and the AI voice agent catch something in the conversation and send this action with another action send email create client and send calendar uh, link set also tools that is the possible tools that the AI has like uh, get client create client data sources 
that is an external workflow about the em send emails and thing and uh, note as well that I want to explain deeper later. We'll continue working, uh, explaining the tools that we have, workflow behavior. It is so important because it's not the AI, the AI can start to hallucinate. An example of which is good because it's a good, it's a good way to show how, how will be a normal input and output work, data workflow. After that, well, we add a uh, open AI model. It's super simple. Even I left as a mini, you can increase you have a unit simple memory. The only thing that I changed here is the session query will send by the level app. I set up the query and a new custom query could be because you have to create the custom query in level and we are going to see later and increase the content window from five to here we have two super base nodes up, up to you which kind of database do you want to use in this case for me is that a super base but you can replace to a table if you want or any postgres databases this only to evaluate if this client already exists if not also there is a tool to create a new one in base of in base of the conversation because there is some file fields that is requirement like a name email project experience calls ready to invest that's important to know and what well, another others requirement fields this is a uh, external data sources basically information about myself about the mentorship and also about the videos because i would like if it's needed in the message recommend some videos about maybe the question on doubt that the user has we have the sender email we are going to see later and this stuff is super important because thinking this is important first of all what is thinking and now basically following the thinking aspect from anthropic and this way it can evaluate in memory how will be how has been the message that the agent has got in the past and think the best answer possible email sender is an external which agent is a child agent or oh, it's not an agent it's a automation workflow let's see i have this here uh the first step is validate that all requirement fields exist next stop if not just stop an error and next st next step is download the the file the pdf that we are going to send convert to binary and here Basically, we create a JSON only following the requirement of the API that we use for send the email and finally send the email. I, in this point, I prefer use a custom endpoint. is is my backend that is post an endpoint, and because this way I can get the total control about the action of send an email is then use the maybe MailChimp, MailChimp or Gmail. I prefer do this way just to keep the control on my, on my hands. And um, you see here, here is the, the file. It's a JSON because it's provided for this node. Now we are going to see 11 lab, a really important step. First of all, when you already have a 11 lab account, you will be on the dashboard. I explain this because this layout changes change maybe monthly, but you have to understand that you have to look for the agent sections and create a new one. When you create a new one, you can choose what kind of agent do you want. It could be a support agent. That's only a template, a template, or you can start from scratch let's see the configuration on my agent okay when you create when you already create the agent you are going to see these fields that you have to set up basically here is the field message i set up this message this is a AI simeon ai assistant and here is so important because i provide good context about my, my mentorship in this point just to avoid go and return to NNN stand job for information about my, my program. If need deeper information, but it's not so common, go to the, the which agent goes to my NNN stands and ask for these sources. But I think the most of the cases will be covered. 
with the information that I provide here. I said stuff about the personality, environment, tones, goals, and that is uh, here is so important work. Basically, tool. I is, I create a tool to connect with NNN. Tool, tool, tool. I create a, a tool, and in the tool, I specify what is the action of this tool. Also, available actions because I, as I told you, there is an action that the agent, the AI agent, send to NNN as a update memory, send emails, create client, and send calendar link. Also, here I set up an example because as it's really good to provide a sample to LLMs and continue scrolling here, the, la the rest, keeping the as a default, well, I changed Gemini to GPT-4. And here is another stuff that we have to keep in mind because to establish the connection between NNN and LMLAP, you have to create a tools and basically it's an external tool that uh, a voice engine will use when it's a requirement and I create an NNN AI agent brain. Basically, you have to click on tool and custom tool and you will have a drawer similar to this just to set up a name. And it's so important add here a description. It's a, a brief description there. How, what is the tool and what is the tool cover and what is the action that the AI boy agent can do with this tool and also provides a URL and method. As I told you, it's a post method and provides a URL that is provided to by 11 lab. The, sorry, it's provided by NNN in this point. You have the test URL and production. You copy and paste in and that's it. If you need any more headers, path, header maybe is, is needed because if you set up here, there is, a, for example, authentication. You need to set up a header here, but it's not the case. Parameters. I create a custom parameters only for one reason, because I need a session ID to keep track of the memory of the AI boy agents. Um, basically, this is the reason. I need an ID to keep in memory the message in the same memory. And that is the reason why I create this session ID, provide brief, well, it's not, I don't know, it's so brief. Well, it is brief. Description about this and body on body is pretty the same because you have to create a custom field. In my case, it's instructions and brief description about the instruction and the instruction describe the action and the message and, and follow the pattern. This is the this is this is case, but you can, write down whatever you want me. You only click on save and you will integrate N11 app with NNN. Tips to follow and problems that I got when I was developing that. First tips is when you got the response here, there is a button here, it's not here, but what well, that means pins the data and you can retry it your AI voice agent or AI, AI agents on NNN with the same data and you avoid uh, test the connection always. That's That was something that maybe saves a little bit money because a level lab is not a cheap uh, um, service and the free lawyer is so small to be honest. And here one tip is you have to be so accurate and straightforward with it, with the prompt both in both platforms. Because one issue that I got so much is sometimes the update memory doesn't work as expected. That means in the middle of the conversation, I was the issue where the AI voice agent doesn't send didn't send the information to the agents. And when asked about the sent email, the and in any stand, didn't have the enough information to create a tailored message. That's why I improved so much and um, as much as possible the prompt in even here in or in any stand as well. It was my 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 principal pain point. I test a lot the connection because the behavior was not expected with that. In the end, improve improving and improving the prompt. I got this. Another painful point was the email sender. I personally recommend use your custom email sender instead Gmail sender because to send files the perform has be has not been very well. But if maybe you are good you are good with MailChimp, you can test with MailChimp. But if you are a developer 
I think you are going to prefer this approach because this way you are going to get the entire control of the email sender. But also there is a disadvantage. Basically, you get an action outside the NNN instance. That means that no entire workflow is on NNN instance and well, yes, something good, something bad. What is coming in this YouTube channel? I am working on creating an Armin agent to my business. The first agent that I built was a new generation based on information from the front, from the form. And now this AI voice agent, the next step, I guess will be a newsletter AI agent, but I will continue working on my AI agents army. If you want to know what will be the next step, just follow me because I have a really good video for you.